the notebook. So I just added the fake notebook. And after debugging, I haven't seen anything got created in the. I have like uh, here I have created one folder named trace, and I named it as trace, and I have given that path. Okay. You go back to the uh, this one, uh, the toolkit. Yeah, I'm in the tool. Click on trace. Okay. Yeah, done. It's so a file trace. And you have given a file path. Now change that uh, folder path to a file name. That is slash abc dot text. So I have a text or error I guess. Dot txt. Do I need to create one text there, which means inside that folder? Or can I leave? No, 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 not required. Deploy this. Now, what causes the trace to occur? Is there an error which gets generated uh, within the code? I have given that's why I have given root with. Oh, is hmm. that the compulsion that there should be some error? Then only. It's yeah. Then only uh, the way that you have connected the trace node, there is a compulsion that uh, an error should occur. If you want. Okay. Uh, a success to be also logged, then drag a trace node, a new node. Yeah. Hmm. Now connect it between invoice and filter. Delete that. Yeah. Hmm. Now connect it from invoice to trace one. Now rename trace one as trace success. Yeah, and I trace use... as a trace failure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now go to trace success. And fill in the details for trace success. That is, change that into a file log. Can I give the Put same the path or different one? The final uh, name should be different. The file name should be different. The folder name can be the same. There should be some way to identify success and failure as separate entities, right? Mm, that is why we are uh, separating it out. Uh, Otherwise, there is no technical. Yeah. Uh, if we choose our destination as user trace, then what should we be given in that file part? Like, uh... User trace does not need a file. User trace is the default uh, tracing mechanism for IIB. It will go to var MQSI on a Linux path and on Windows it goes to C program data IBM MQSI that in that location. Okay. Wherever you uh, hmm. local error log is uh, the error or event viewer location in Windows and on uh, Unix it is uh, the sys log daemon. Now write the pattern as root.
Mm, yes now uh, before the route you write uh, happy path happy path or success path. success path okay okay mm. something like that okay space and mm. then dollar route ha right? huh. now go to test trace failure and uh, write there also like failure path or mm. so why do we need to write this rishni like uh, so that we can understand what's happening okay so what are the two ways that we can identify uh, what's happening one is the name of the file and the other one is uh, any text content that you write okay hmm. now deploy this all right and now test it now go check the trees yeah got success text hmm see what's inside that a uh, happy path and then root what are the properties hmm okay and so this is why you are not getting a uh, failure trees because a failure was not occurring uh yeah oh so what are these vishnu like uh, message set message type like whatever it is there everything is getting generated right ha huh. the root element is uh, having child element as properties mkmd come down okay scroll down it's still loading for me scroll down oh. and after that yeah. after mkmd it is having blob blob yeah so these three are getting printed okay yeah i'm got it is now then uh, should we try with the user one also and that failure generating a failure how will you generate a failure Yes, by we can even give wrong ESQL statements or anything like that. Or you can uh, give. Okay, let me look into the ESQL. Else, okay, it is a a blob message, and you are using a XML NSC processor. So yeah. here you can change it to XML NSC as the uh, as the parser. and then uh, you can give a non xml message to create a failure okay go okay. to the this is deploy okay go to the input node go to uh, input message parsing and now select xml nsc the second option hmm yes now deploy this okay 
All right. Now give uh, ABC as your input in MQ Explorer. Put message. Close. Go to the trace folder and look for errors. Yeah, God. Yeah, then the iteration with God then put. Hmm. Now go see what's inside the MQ parser and uh, this error.txt. It says failure part. Yeah. And it gives you. Okay, we were supposed to print out the exception list for a failure path. We have not done that. Oh. Mm. So let's do it. And for XML, see it looks, uh, it shows blank, isn't it? Yeah, it shows blank, yeah. Mm. Now go to the trace uh, location, failure, and in the second line, you type exception list, EX. Exception. E capital, right? Ha, huh, no space. Okay. No space. Now copy that exception list and then paste it as a text in in the beginning of uh, that line. Okay. Without the dollar symbol, without that uh, curly brace. Do yeah. that. Yes. Uh, I think they are on different lines. It should be on the same line. Okay. Put a space between this and that. Exception list text and exception list variable. Okay, now deploy this. Save and deploy. You don't have to delete that every time. It will get overwritten. Hello. Type one, two, three or ABC. Yeah. Hmm. Go to the trace folder and open up the error.txt. Now, since it is uh, already open, huh, you can open it in another notepad. Yeah, opened it, Vishnu. Hmm. Is it showing the second test result along with exception list? See filter node uh, and trace dot success parser exception. Go down. Uh, parsing error have. Hmm. Parsing error has occurred as the input is not a valid yeah. XML. Hmm. All right. Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah. Hmm. Task completed. It's yeah, I do. I was not giving that uh, dot txt when I was just giving that folder path. So that's the reason it was not getting generated. I guess. And uh, without any uh, like any errors, I was trying to add those trace nodes to the failure and catch down. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. OK. All right, yeah, then. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye.